I'm Norm Poltonson, the publisher of the Business Journal. On May 22nd, Ray Nutting, who's an editor of Market Watch, which is an affiliate of the Wall Street Journal, published an article online entitled, Obama's Spending Binge Never Happened. Needless to say, the article went viral on Facebook within hours, and people were amazed that one day an individual was considered to be a big spender, and the next day he was considered to be a miser. What Nutting had done, ostensibly, was to go back over 60 years of spending under a variety of Democratic and Republican presidents and compare their spending and when he got done, he said based on total expenditures that in fact President Obama was by far the smallest spender among all the presidents in 60 years. Well, the first thing when I read this was to check and make sure that I had taken my medication that day, and I had. The second thing I did was to make sure that I had my current optical prescription and I was reading properly, I was. So how could it be, again, that the president whom everybody thought on May 21st was a big spender, on May 22nd was in fact a miser? Well, like everything else in life, it's in the details. And when you looked at how Ray Nutting constructed his uh, statistics, the first thing that jumped out at you was he took the first year of every presidency over the last 60 years and said, well, since the president takes office four months after the budget is determined, therefore, I'm going to move the expenditures in the first year of the new president into the last year of the old president. Well, if we looked at President Obama in 2009 when he took office, we had the stimulus, we had the children's program, we had TARP, and we had a number of other expenditures. So when you got done with it, there was a huge difference between taking the baseline for President Obama in 2009 and moving it back into George Bush's last year of his presidency. Also, Ray Nutting then decided that, well, we're going to take the bailout money that was paid back by the banks under TARP, and we're going to call that savings. We're also going to do that with Fannie and Freddie. And we had hundreds of millions of dollars in savings which showed up on the books from one year to the next. He also took the baseline from the Cong Congressional Budget Office, which had included, remember these are projections for 2012, 2013, they haven't happened yet, and it assumed a $65 billion automatic uh, spending cut. It also assumed that the reimbursements to the doctors would uh, not be made, in fact there'd be a substantial cut under Medicare to doctors, and also the refundable tax credit would expire. Well. If you think those things are going to happen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you're entitled to your thought, but if you looked at Medicare for the last number of years, every time we come up to the question of cutting reimbursement to doctors, it never happens and the funds are always found. So what benchmarks didn't Nutting use? Well, he never talked about the federal debt going up almost 15% every year under uh, President Obama. He didn't talk about federal dollars that were expended as a percentage of gross domestic product, which went from 21 or 22 percent to 25 percent. He certainly didn't look at the president's budgets himself to get an idea of what the president thought, in which case it was clear that the president was a big spender. I guess we have to look back to 2008 in the campaign of President Obama when he talked about hope and change. I think what Nutting was thinking is that the president was hoping for the best and changing reality. Thanks for listening. I'm Norm Poltonson.